Hey everyone, I'm here to teach you guys today how to make a basic first person character template that you can use for all of your future games, whether that be prototyping or the actual game itself. Anyway, so the first thing you gotta do is come here and select third person project. You may be wondering why am I not using the default first person. The issue that I have with it is that it's got the gun model and the arms and that's it. So you can't see the rest of your body. So when you look down, there's nothing there. But with the third person one, you have a full character model. So I'm going to use this one, and then I am going to call it uh, first person character. Uh, call it two for now, because I already made a temporary one. But uh, what I tend to do with this is whenever I come up with an idea for a game and I want to prototype it to see if I like it or not, I will use this character template just to uh, walk around and see how everything feels, make sure that it's working the way that I want it to. But as you can see right now, We've got our full character, but the problem is, is that we're still in third person and this needs to be first person. So the simplest way to fix that is to open up your blueprint by double clicking on it. And then when you come into here, you don't have to worry about any of this code. You can leave all of it. All we want to do is come up here and select our viewport up here. And you'll see that our camera is attached by this red line and that is a uh, spring arm. So all you got to do is just select it and delete it. And then you select your follow camera and you just drag it on top of mesh and then it'll have this little arrow and follow camera will be below it. Now we need to attach it to the head so that it stays with the head. So if you come up here to the parent socket and you select the little search icon, you can then enter in head. And you'll see that now it's rotated kind of weirdly. The top of our camera is here so we need to press E. And then we need to rotate it 90 degrees. Make sure that when you rotate it, you have uh, this one here selected. That will make sure that it rotates in increments of 10. And then you can press W. And then we want to move it onto our character. Now, I haven't got it perfectly lined up just yet. So I want to show you something. At the moment, our character is really weird. The movement will be all buggy and it won't feel right. And you'll notice that the head bobbles like crazy. So. First of all, we want to make sure we come down here in camera options with follow camera selected. And we go use pawn control rotation. And then you need to come to your third person character. And then under pawn, you select use controller rotation yaw. Now that we have that, you'll notice that the camera feels much smoother. We can look around, you can walk about. But now we have the issue of the character model not being lined up properly. Yeah, so as I said earlier in the video, I actually already have one of these templates. I use it a lot whenever I am coming up with different game ideas just to test it out and see what I think of it. So I already have my, I guess you'd call it perfect settings for where I want this camera located. So I'm just going to show them to you guys, save you the issue of having to edit it yourself. If you do want to mess around with it, you're more than welcome to. It doesn't take too long to fix and, uh, and get it right. But for me, this is just what I found. You can see here I've done a negative 0 0.125, and then in the z-axis we go 1.45. Now, if we save that and compile it, and press play, you'll notice our character's head is no longer glitching through, and we can clearly look around. And an issue that a lot of people have is that their character's head will like glitch through the wall a little, and I've made sure that they, the camera sticks far enough back that it will not stick through the wall when you walk into it. Anyway guys, this is my first person character tutorial. I hope this helps. If you have any ideas for future videos that you want to see or anything that you'd help with with this tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, see you next time.